Okay, um, welcome back, guys. So now I want to kind of discuss with you guys another issue I faced while trying to bake the normal normal maps for this part for this part lapis. So if you guys uh, remember vividly in um, Zebras, we will try to bake. We're having some really weird maps when we're trying to bake. Like we're having a map that has some artifact on it. So even while I bake this also, even while I bake this, as in I baked my normal map inside of Mamose Two Bag, and I'm still having that same issue. So let me let me quickly open this up. So the issue I had in ZBrush also have the same issue here also while baking in Mamose Two Bag. As you can see, the artifacts are also here. So the reason why, why I'm having this was because my UVs were not the way it's supposed to be. So, it, it, and that's why it's kind of like a, a back and forth thing. Once you bake, you go back and check. If it's not working correctly, you kind of fix the issues you have with your UVs. For the most part, it's mostly UV issues. So, now I have um, two machines here. So, if, let me... So, the, the, this part on the, on the top now is my... Let me let me select just these guys and collapse this. So I went in and reworked all my UVs. So I reworked on the UVs for this. I left I left this junk at the back. Then I reworked the UVs for these guys for this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piece. You can see they're in there. They're in here. So I, I reworked that UV instead of Maya and now I, I'm I'm not using this straighten UVs anymore because that was the that, that was exactly the issue I was having in the bake. So the previous mesh looks like this. So let me hide this. Let me hide this. Control H to hide this. We'll do that. Go to object mode. Okay. okay, this is that piece. Let me drag this in here. So on the on the previous let me select um okay, that's for this piece. Then we have these two pieces. Okay, so let me select, let me select that group and I dance, control to I dance. So this is the previous, this is the old UVs we were working with before. So shift H to bring this back. Then I will select these guys. Let's select these guys. Select them and do a combine. So this, so this was the previous UVs we have in there. Now this joke at the back remains the same. But this particular one had issues because I straightened the UVs and then it was not baking correctly as it should. So that was why I left this and okay, then drag this back in here and then hide this, control H to hide this, shift H to reveal this, and then I reworked on my UVs and made it not straight. I just did that on full on that. And then I exported this out as a separate separate low poly piece back in here. So I exported this back again and I named it two plot low. Then I brought it back to more set to bag. I just draw I'm still using the same setting, so I just dropped that new reworked UVs underneath this low poly. And then when I did my bake, I've already, I've already done my bake. So I go back in here. So when I did my bake and I preview this, it's working correctly as it should. As you can see, everything is working correctly as it, as it should. So now if I should go back to my to go back to my bakes, so you need to be very conscious of your UVs. If you notice that you're having issues by by baking, first of all you check the positioning if there has been an offset or a shift in the placement of your low poly and your high poly. Then secondly, you can check your check your UVs and be sure you work on those UVs to make sure the peak is coming out correctly. 
So, so, so this is my new baking here. My new baking here. Though I've not I've not baked my I've not baked my UV island yet. So let me pre-bake my UV island. That shouldn't take long. So I'll just do a bake now. So that should just quickly bake in bake with my UV islands into the same output. So I'm done baking my UV island. And go back in here and see my UV island is here. So let me double click on this. So now as you can see we have everything working correctly as it should. You can see looking good. Now we can check in there for errors if there is any. But I think I think everything looks good. Everything looks good. If there are issues on maybe we are seeing some seam lines in there here and there, we can just quickly and easily fix that. But so far so good. It looks very very nice. So I can come in here and check also. So everything looks pretty cool. Working correctly as it should. That's fine. So and then that's just everything. That's just that's just it. So in case you have any issues, just try and fix that and then we'll go we'll jump in next to it and we'll jump right into substance painter and then begin to texture this properly as we should. So I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. I, I, also, it's also good to I'll show you guys my Show you guys my errors also so that you can learn from them because most tutorials will just jump right into typing in the correct values and then they already, they already know what they are, what they are going for and then they already made mistakes and they resolve the mistake the mistakes of the recording so once it does come in it feels like everything is just perfect and just right but in here i'm showing you my errors so that you can learn from them and then kind of avoid them and not resolve your own issues when you encounter something similar to that so i'll see you guys in the next lesson